is. Oh, how did that get there? Wakey, wakey, Caillou. Oh, good, you're up. We need to go and see Grandma. Mommy, look, look, what is it? Hmm. Looks like a rash, Caillou. A rash? Oh, no. How did I get it? I don't know, Caillou. But we'll have to figure it out before we go and see Grandma. But why? Well, if we don't know what gave you that rash, then we can't be sure Grandma won't get it too. We need to be safe. Okay. I know. Let's think about what you did yesterday and try to work out where the rash came from. Do you remember what you did? Hmm. Well, I went to the park with Daddy. <gasps> Daddy, can I have some lemonade? Mm. We stopped to buy lemonade. <laughs> Excuse you. <laughs> Whoops. It was delicious. Oh. 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 But I tripped and spilled it. Hmm. Maybe it was the lemonade? I don't think that's it, Caillou. You've had lemonade lots of times before. What else did you do after? Hmm. <laughs> nice to meet you. I met a friendly dog who kept licking my face. <laughs> Mommy, maybe it was the dog? There's no rash on your face. Keep thinking. Where did you go next? I just played with Teddy. <laughs> we had a lot of fun. Ready for takeoff, Captain Teddy? Until he landed in a big bush. But it was okay because I rescued him. <laughs> and we flew home together with him in my t shirt. <laughs> oh, Caillou! It sounds like maybe Teddy landed in some poison ivy and then it got on your tummy. That's just the name of the plant. You'll be fine. A nice soothing bath will make you feel a lot better. All right, Caillou. Time to get out. And that's Teddy. Good as new. So can we go and see Grandma now? She won't get sick. I'm afraid not, Caillou. But why? Well, you can't go in your bathrobe, silly. <laughs> Caillou and Leo were having lots of fun playing in the park together. Leo brought along his favorite green truck to show Caillou. Wow, Leo! Your truck is so cool! 
I'll bring my red one tomorrow and we can race. Okay, but mine will be the fastest. We'll see about that. Time to go now, Caillou. But I don't want to go yet. We're playing with Leo's truck. We'll be back tomorrow. You can finish your game then. Fine. See you tomorrow, Leo. Bye, Caillou. The next day, Caillou was very excited to play trucks with Leo at the park. He jumped out of bed and got ready as fast as he could. <gasps> Mommy! Caillou was covered in tiny red spots. He didn't know what they were, but they were very itchy. Mommy! Oh dear, it looks like you have chicken pox. Chicken pox? They're just little itchy spots, nothing to worry about. But you must remember not to scratch them or they'll get worse. I'll run you a nice bath and then you won't feel so itchy. While Mommy ran the bath, Caillou stood looking at himself in the mirror. He tried to count how many tiny red spots he had. Your bath is ready, Caillou. Caillou knew he shouldn't scratch, but he couldn't help it. Caillou, no scratching. But I'm so itchy, Mommy. If you don't scratch and you take lots of baths, your spots will disappear faster. Caillou didn't feel as itchy in the bath, and playing with Ducky helped him forget all about it. Quack! <laughs> Quack! How are you doing in there, Caillou? I think I'm ready to get out and go play with Leo now. I'm not itchy anymore. I'm sorry, you can't go out and play today, Caillou. You are sick. You need to stay home and rest. Caillou was very sad he wouldn't be able to go play trucks with Leo. After all, he didn't feel itchy anymore. You can't see Leo until your spots have cleared up. Otherwise, you'll make Leo sick too. Caillou didn't want to make Leo sick, so he listened to Mommy and went back to bed. Caillou was getting bored of waiting for his spots to go away. He found it very hard not to scratch. They were just so itchy. Caillou, are you scratching? I can't help it, Mommy. They're so itchy. I have some special cream that might help. <laughs> Once Mommy was done, she pulled out a sheet of stickers. What are those stickers for? It's a surprise. Mommy put the red dots on Caillou's dinosaur. My dinosaur has chicken pox too! Soon me and Dinosaur are going to feel much better. Then I can go play with Leo. The next morning, Caillou looked at himself in the mirror. His spots were finally <gasps> fading. Mommy, come see! That's great, Caillou. You're almost all better. Caillou showed Mommy that his dinosaur had fewer spots, too. Can me and Dinosaur go play outside now? I want to show Leo my truck. Not yet, Caillou. You'll have to wait until the chicken pox are completely gone. Aww. The next day, all Caillou's spots had disappeared. He picked up his dinosaur and his truck and ran to tell everyone the good news. Mommy! Daddy! Look! Ta-da! I see you and your dinosaur spots are all gone. Yup. Can I go out and play now? Yes, Caillou. You can go after breakfast. Can you go wake Rosie for me? <gasps> Rosie, guess what? My spots have all gone, so we're going to the p <gasps> Now poor Rosie's face was covered in spots. Chicken spots! Mommy, come quick! Caillou knew just what had happened to Rosie. <gasps> Look, Mommy, now Rosie has chicken pox. Don't worry, Rosie. I'll look after you. Don't you want to go to the park to play trucks with Leo? Not today. Dr. Caillou needs to look after Rosie. Here, 
if you take lots of baths and don't scratch, you lose all your spots, just like me and my dinosaur. Rosie knew she'd feel better in no time with Dr. Caillou looking after her. <laughs> Okay, Caillou, let's take that turn to the left and head back home. Got it. Hey, Daddy, race you home. Be careful, Caillou. It's a bit bumpy over there. What? <gasps> You. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Caillou. I'm Dr. Wen. We're just going to take a quick x ray of your arm, okay? I'm afraid your arm is broken, so I'll need to be in a cast for six weeks. Six weeks? Now, I'm just wrapping some padding around your arm before we put on the plaster so it won't hurt. Now you need to hold very still until this is dry, okay, Caillou? Otherwise it won't work. Uh, it's so heavy. It feels weird. <laughs> It'll feel a bit strange for a day or two, but I'm afraid it's the only way to make sure your arm gets better. Captain 
Rosie, do you think we should fly higher and reach the stars? <laughs> Higher? Um, Captain Rosie, do you hear me? <laughs> Come on, Rosie. You said you'd fly with me and be my co pilot. Scared to fly? Oh, don't worry, Rosie. It's not what you think. Miss Rosie? We're ready for you. You'll see, Rosie. It's okay. I'll go with you. Can I? Sounds like a great idea. <laughs> Hop on right here, Miss Rosie. <laughs> Dr. Joseph will be right with you. I was scared too. I was even scared of the mask the dentist wears. But lots of people wear masks. Like this. <gasps> Cowboys and firefighters and dentists wear masks. <laughs> Rosie want too. Coming right up, Captain Rosie. Pilots wear masks too, so they can talk to their co-pilots. Can you hear me, Captain Rosie? <laughs> See, masks just help people do their jobs. But... Ghost! <laughs> oh, sorry, Rosie. I didn't mean to laugh at you. It might look scary, but that's just a lab coat, not a ghost. It's a dentist uniform. Looks like you have very nice teeth, Miss Rosie. I think that if... You okay, Caillou? Caillou funny. Not scary, see? But you know what the best thing about the dentist is, Rosie? What? Dentists do the magic that make your teeth shine. Shine like stars. <laughs> well, hello, Rosie. Good tip. Well, Captain Rosie, you ready to blast off? Oh! <laughs> 